As classic of a movie quote as there ever could be, never before has a single sentence summed up my entire life. I've had a lot of time to think lately, and watch movies. That's all they let us do here. Of all the podunk towns in the world, he had to walk into mine. My name is Frank Anderson, and the story you're about to hear is based on real life. My life. As I sit here in Dominion Mental Hospital in Virginia, pencil and paper in hand, I'm trying to piece it all together myself. The doctors say writing will help me remember. It started as your average Monday, or maybe it was a Tuesday. The sound of spatulas clanging on the grill as burgers were flicked pierced my ears. The intoxicating aroma of fresh baked onions wriggled from the kitchen to my nose. It was surprisingly busy that day. How did I end up there? That's a good question. I guess after my folks died, I needed a change. So I packed up and headed west. My mother passed away a few years ago. My father, don't get me started on him. All those years in the CIA, what did it get him? That sort of life was never for me. Anderson, you're late again. What is wrong with you? What is your problem? Don't you want to work here? Look at you, you didn't even show up to work. Your shirt's not tucked in. You didn't even shave today. What kind of attitude is that? I don't need this from you, okay? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't ax your sorry ass. You need me, right? Nobody else in this town is desperate enough to work for you, okay? He couldn't answer me back. He had the look of a monkey on his face. I, I don't know what was harder to stare at. His bulging eyes or the mustard stain on his t-shirt that had been there as long as I'd known him. I was amazed that anyone could stare at this prick for more than five seconds and still possess an appetite. Not wanting to press my luck, I figured it was time to get to work. I need those three orders. What are you doing? What are you doing in here? I need those three orders. They're waiting out front. Take this out. It's supposed to have cheese on it. Out now. Oh. Try to put the cheese out of yourself. What's the matter with you? I gotta do everything. Get out of here. The minute he walked through the door, I, I knew something wasn't right. I mean, that suit. It, he was dressed sharper than anyone I'd ever seen. Who the hell wears sunglasses indoors, though? Hey, uh, what can I get for you? I will have a veggie omelet and a nice, civilized cup of tea. That was the first time someone ever placed an order in here that right. wasn't smothered in grease. definitely ate fast. It seemed like no sooner that I made the drop that I was dropping the check. Thank you. Hey. Forgetting something? Ah, of course. What the hell's this? Don't worry. You'll know soon enough. We've got the goon squad, and we're coming to town. Beep, beep. 
What? What's that supposed to mean? Hey! Anderson, hey. get back to work! Quit fraternizing with the customers! Take out the garbage! Take out the trash! I would have loved to take out the trash, but I didn't want his fat ass to give me a hernia. By the time I got back, the guy was gone. After my shift was over, I went straight home. Booming social life, I know. But I hadn't been in town very long, and working for a guy like Richard didn't exactly turn you into a socialite. Yeah, thanks a lot, phone. Remind me what day it is. Not like I wanted to forget it or anything. If I hadn't sat on it, I would have forgotten about it entirely. I don't know what it was, but you know, something was strange about it. It's jet black exterior, or rather pupil black. Was the phone watching me? Hello? Activate four, three, nine, seven, five, two. Damn it, Anderson, you're late again. I know, I know, I'm sorry, I just, I, you have no idea what's going on. I, I can't deal with this today. I got a lot of shit to do, and we're breaking in a new girl. But normally, I would never do this. But you gotta lock up tonight. Jane. Hi, Jane. Um, my name's Frank. Frank Anderson. It's nice to meet you. Hi. The 12-hour workday just seemed to fly by. It was just Jane and I in the restaurant alone. Are you sure you'll be okay by yourself? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. It's no more lively than my apartment. Thanks so much for helping me out today. No problem. Listen. I'm new in town, and you seem really sweet. You wouldn't want to... She was shy, but I knew what she wanted to say. I'm not going to lie, if she didn't ask, I probably would have myself. Yeah. Actually, I would. Sounds good. I'll call you. For the first time in a long time, though, I didn't feel alone. This was the first friend I had made in this town, and, you know, maybe she would make me not dread coming into work every day. Something puzzled me, though. She said she'd call me. Did I give her my number? Hello? First the numbers, Five, then the static two. came back. I slammed the phone shut. I was in no mood to deal with this tonight. Hey, fuck this! Get the fucking oh, 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 oh. Hurry up! All right, take it easy. Jesus Christ! Come on! She wants this place to be clear with her fucking dumb brain cells. She better hurry up! I'm a slow fucker, you know that. Come on! Hurry up! Come on! Oh my God, you are one slow fucker! Come on! 
Oh, you were one slow motherfucker, you know that? Hurry up! Come on, give me the money! Oh! Fuck! Mr. Anderson, how are you feeling today? You gave us quite the scary. It's a good thing I activated you when I did. You do me, you son of a bitch. And what's with that damn phone? Subject 16 shows exemplary talent, but is highly mentally and emotionally unstable. Fuck about damn it, and who's subject 16? Anderson, what the hell are you doing? First you robbed me blind, and now this? Richard, shut the fuck up, okay? This guy has answers, and I want them now. Please don't do this! She knew me such a short time, and she knew me better than I knew myself. I don't hurt people. It's not in my nature. I, I wouldn't. I couldn't. Hey! Could I? Leave it to me. The first woman I had any kind of feelings for in a while, and I had to ruin it by going and doing something stupid like this. I wouldn't be going out with her anytime soon. What the hell? Frank, are you there? Richard didn't show up. How did she know where morning. I lived? Everyone's worried. Police, open up. We just want to talk. Go away. Don't, don't come near me. You guys set me up. This is all a lie. Frank, put your fucking hands up. I didn't do it. Frank, what did you do? He's dead. Hello, Mr. Anderson. And how are we feeling today? Uh, you again? I, I don't know what's happening. What? Why? You still don't remember. It's me. Curtis Ventura, your handler. Handler? I... I don't know what you're talking about. I have, I have no idea what's going on. Damn it all. I knew we shouldn't have gotten you involved in the program. There's just too many bugs left in it. Program? What, what program? Where am I? What's going on? What, the Mentis program. You were the very first to volunteer, only you weren't really ready yet. Hell, nobody was. When you were activated, you went completely off the rails. You were supposed to return to Langley, only not go off and murder a small-time crook and a restaurateur. Even the female agent we sent in after you, she couldn't tame you either. 
It all went sideways and it was just awful. Langley, I was a spy and, and Jane and this guy were watching over me? No, they, that can't be. My, my father was a spy, I remember. I'm so very sorry at how this has turned out for you. I truly am. But remember, you've done a great service to your country and your star will still go up on the wall back at headquarters. And who knows, maybe now, thanks to you, we will finally get all of those glitches worked out of the program. And that, of course, is very exciting. Thank you. Please, see, you've got the wrong guy. I swear, you, you've got the wrong guy, please. You've got the wrong guy. You've got the wrong guy. Now, here I sit in Dominion Mental Hospital in Virginia, pencil and paper in hand. I'm trying to piece it all together. Doctors say writing will help me remember. I'm excited. Doctors say that since I've been good today, I, I can have some contact with the outside world again. I'm sorry, I, I've got to go. The doctors tell me that I have a phone call. 